Today I want to show you what I did to cover up my fuse box. It's in a really inconvenient location and it's been an eyesore for a while now. And so I didn't want to spend a lot of money. I thought about putting up one of those uh, canvases, but those are expensive even when you use coupons or sales at the craft stores. So what I ended up doing was going to the Dollar Tree and I only spent $2 on a couple of things there and then using supplies I already had. So let me go ahead and show you what I did. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I tried to make it look somewhat like a burlap board that you could buy um, at the store. But what I ended up doing was I went to Dollar Tree and I bought two of their foam poster boards and I attached them together by using packaging tape around the edges of the boards. Um, and I used two because I felt like one was just not thick enough. But then after I used the, or after I attached the two boards together, I found some material that I had from a previous project. It's not burlap, but um, it has kind of a similar look to it, just not as um, rough feeling, I guess you could say. And so what I did was I stapled that to the back of the foam boards, and then I used items that I already had. I decided to use my coffee filter wreath. And I attached that with some twine and some hot glue to the back of the boards. And then at the bottom, I wrapped some twine around the boards, just kind of in a little design. I have, it was basically three lines going through it, an X and then one through the center. And I figured it would be cute without anything in it or during the different seasons, I could change out what I put in the twine um, string. So right now I just have little leaves but for Christmas, I'll probably come up with something different, and then for the winter, something different as well. So um, that's what I came up with. I only spent $2 because I only had to buy the white foam boards from Dollar Tree, and then the rest were all things that I already had. Um, now, the way that I attached it to the fuse box so that it wouldn't fall off is on the back, I hot glued magnets. So let me show you really quickly what I did. I ended up putting four strips of magnets to the back and you can see my little twine wrapping. It's not real neat on the back but um, it looks better on the front for sure. And those magnets I already had and I just figured why not use them to attach it to the fuse box. So that's what I came up with using supplies I already had and just shopping the Dollar Tree.